Alright, so with that, it's time to wrap up Hell Descent. Let's make sure we're armed with a crowbar. We're gonna want that in a moment. So, Hell Descent is kind of a weird area for me. It's a bit of a love-hate relationship. On one hand, it's probably the most memorable and iconic area of the game, just for how twisted it is. But on the other hand, it's this weird mix of linear, because it filters you in one direction, and just unstructured, because, I mean, there's no map, and honestly, as much as the place folds in on itself, I'm not sure that a map would really help. And there are also just bizarre things like that. I mean, why bother with the false wall? It's not like we actually had to explore or examine the false wall or anything, it just instantly vanishes. So I'm not really sure what the point was there. But we're left with this door. So, in we go. And we find Dr. Fitch. And he's in kind of a state. Some help? You're bleeding bad. Don't you touch me! I bleed out the sin, but it grows back. So I must let it out every day. I can stop the bleeding. I don't want your help. These wounds cannot heal. Why did you come to this place? I come here to remind myself. It's the only place I go where she listens to me. Who listens? Scarlet? Is she here? She's here with me now. My baby. My beautiful child. Daddy forgot to bring you a present today. She loves dollies. I want to ask you about Scarlet. What's happened to her? D don't you mention her name. You're not as worthy as one hair in her head. So, pretty much all we can do is give him the doll that we have. Forgive me. And so it's time for the second boss of the game, Scarlet. You have to dodge her claw swipes and try and break off the porcelain armor on her. So for this, you want to use your blunt weapon of choice. The crowbar definitely works better if you manage to find that in Hell Descent. And I'm not really sure what hit me there. Kind of a wake up call, boss. Hmm. 
you really have to get good with your dodge timing here. Once you break off enough of her armor, you can just kind of wail on her like this. My first time playing through the game, I actually did not find the crowbar, and so this took a lot longer because I was having to do it with the steel pipe. It still works, but it goes a lot slower. Yeah, if she gets us down low on health enough, I do still have that other serum to use. Which actually might not be a bad idea. Eventually, once you break her down enough, you'll get an action prompt. There we go. So just mash A to pry. And there we go, we've defeated Scarlet. That's two bosses down. Except, why didn't we get an achievement? Surprise! Phase two! For this phase, she's a lot more mobile. things considered, it's not like she was slow to begin with. Once you've got her down, use the action prompt, but it won't go right the first few times. I think you have to knock her down and do that three times. Sometimes she'll move up to the ceiling. Be ready to dodge. If you do, she's instantly down, so you get to go for her again. Oh, she's going up again. And there we go. We got the achievement Blood Donor for defeating Scarlet. So that happened. She's bleeding out, and we got a key. And the blood is quicksand. Because, why not? <coughs> Lovely. I've seen the symbol on this key before. I got a Founder's Key. I remember seeing it in the Town Hall when I was a kid. I can't remember where in the building, though. Or, of course, there's when we saw it earlier in the LP. But anyway, with that, we're back at Dr. Fitch's office, and we have the Founder's Key now. Full disclosure, this is actually a re-record. There was a bit of a recording hiccup, 
but it occurred after the fight with Scarlet. However, I don't think anything has really majorly changed. I think I pretty much have right about as much health as I did the first time fighting her, and I went ahead and used my serum. I didn't use any extra health drinks or anything like that. So, pretty much nothing major has changed. But with that, we're being filtered back to Town Hall. So, in we go. I think I must have had like a feral right behind me or something. <laughs> now that was a bit of a change. My first time getting back here, I actually didn't have any monsters show up on the way. So this way is blocked now. It wasn't earlier, so that's interesting. And now it's finally time to go in here. I hear a smog wandering around, but I think he's on the opposite end of Town Hall, so I don't really need to worry about him, I don't think. So, coming in here... This is my great-great-great-great-great-grandfather, Isaac Shepard. He was one of the four founders, and they named the town after him. Why isn't this on the wall? So, yeah, he's not up with the other founders. Ever get the feeling... Maybe you're not exactly the most popular guy in town. But the other thing we wanted to get here, the item that I was talking about would be out of sequence if we picked it up back then, is a child's drawing. So let's continue our fun little nursery rhyme. And if they take what is not theirs, there can be no doubt. He'll stretch their skin until it snaps and all the blood drains out. Ah, lovely. True poetry. But for now, we're going to go ahead and go back to the save point over here. We've finished Hell Descent. We've defeated the second boss of the game. I'd call that pretty good progress. So we'll go ahead and save here. Go ahead and call it for now. So with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.